Good morning, today we're going to use Pyrotree application in your Android phone. Just tap on it and we will see here its coding area. And at the top, you will notice the three horizontal line. Just tap on it for that we can proceed in its interpreter. And it looks like a calculator. And when you are using a calculator, you are performing calculations or arithmetic operations. And speaking of arithmetic operations, do you still have remember those operator in arithmetic? So if I have expressions of 2 times 2, of course the operator I've used is multiplication and the operands are 2 and 2. Other arithmetic operators are addition, subtraction, division, and modulo. And let's perform these arithmetic operations. You may start after the triangular bracket. This time I'm performing addition and I'm writing here 7 plus 2. Just press next. So that is 9. And if you're using the desktop, just press enter. Next is abstraction, 8 minus 5, that is equal to 3, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9, and 5 divided by 2, that is equal to 2.5. This time, let's perform the modulo. And we're using the modulo to return the remainder. And what do you think is the symbol for that modulo? We commonly called it percent, and percent is what we call the modulo. For example, if I have here 15 modulo 6, it will return 3, and that is the remainder. Another, if I write here 5 modulo 3, what do you think is the remainder? It will return 2. And it does not return the quotient, but it returns the remainder. How about if I want to return both the quotient and the remainder. This time we're going to use the keyword div mode and div mode stands for division and modulus. So I write here div mode function and inside that function is 15 comma 6 and the quotient is 2 and its remainder is 3. Okay, that's it. This time, let's perform exponential function and I'm writing here 2 asterisk asterisk 2 and that is 4. Okay, how did I get that 4? Simply because we are performing multiplication and we have an exponent of 2 multiplied by itself. 2 times 2 that is equal to 4. And the other one, 2 asterisk asterisk 3 is equal to 8. Simply because we're performing multiplication 2 and it has an exponent of 3, 2 times 2, that is equal to 4, and times 2, that is equal to 8. Next, we're going to assign a value to the variable and to determine what kind of data type the variable has. In C programming language, such primary data types are character, or its keyword is char, and it could be uppercase or lowercase letter, A, B, C, D, and so on. And we have also integer, and that is int, that is a whole number, and float, that is a floating point number or a number with decimal point. Remember, in naming a variable, it starts with a letter and not by a number. This time, let's see what kind of data type or the assigned value to our variable x. I write here x is equal to 1 and I assign 1 to variable x. And the next code line will be type function. And inside the function is of course our variable x. Then press next. And that is class int or stands for integer because 1 is a whole number. Next, let's see the assigned value of y is equal to, to a 5.5. .5. Okay, what do you think is the data type of x? So let's type here type function. And inside the function is x. Let's press enter and that is float. Because 5.5 .5 is a floating point number and a number with decimal point. 
Next, let's see what kind of data type of x. If I'm going to assign x is equal to name within a single quote, what do you think is that? Is tr or what we call a string, and a string is composed of characters. For example, if I have a variable name, so my possible value assigned to it is my first name. For example, name is equal Argos within single or double quote, so the assigned value to name is Argos. And if we're going to check what kind of data type is it, it is class is tr or class string.